Welcome to the Jaguarundi Assembly Guide. In this video, we will share the assembly process and important considerations. Firstly, open the bike box and lift the bike from the bike box, then carefully remove all the wrapping, which is recyclable, protecting the bike. Step 1. Handlebar installation. Fold the stem and lock the latch by pushing it upward. When you hear a click sound, it means it is tightened. Open the quick release lever on the stem, ready to install the handlebar. Insert the handlebar into the stem and adjust it to a suitable height for you. Close the quick release lever to lock the handlebar. Make sure the handlebar is fixed in position. You can adjust the tightness of the quick release by swinging the lever when it is open. Step 2. Front wheel installation, front fender and front light installation. Before installing the front wheel, remove the wrapping on the both sides of the front wheel. Next, let's talk about quick detach handles. Remove the lever of the quick release, located at the bottom of the front fork, by swinging the quick release lever and holding the thumb nut on the opposite side. Keep the quick release, which will be utilized later. For the installation of the quick release mechanism, you can refer to this diagram. Remove the spacer between the brake pads. Have a friend lift and hold the bike sturdy, then slide the rotor between the brake pads and guide the fork onto the wheel. The brake pads need to be properly inserted into the brake caliper. Inset the skewer through the wheel. The smaller end of the cone spring on the both sides should be facing into the tire, and the larger side should be facing outside. Hold the thumb nut and spin the lever on the opposite side clockwise. If the lever is too tight to close, then loosen it a circle, then lock it, but make sure it is tight enough. The quick detach handle must always be locked in the upward position. Front fender and front light installation. Prepare a 4mm Allen key, a 5mm Allen key, and a 10mm wrench. Use the 10mm wrench and 5mm allen key to remove the bolt and nut on the front fork. The bolt should pass through the headlight mount and front fender mount. On the back side of the fork, install the washer and nut. Adjust the orientation of the headlight, then tighten the bolt and nut. Using the 4mm allen key to fix the fender arms on the both sides of the front fork. Before tightening the screws, you can adjust the height of the front fender.
Align the notches on the inside of the red 3-pin connector and the small arrows on the outside of the connector and press the two sides together. Step 3. Install the pedals. Take out the 18mm slash 16mm wrench. The big letters at the end of the pedals indicates the right pedal and left pedal. L means left and R means right. Using the 16mm wrench to install the pedals, There is a separate battery switch on the battery. Remember to turn it on before riding. Before setting off, try adjusting the handlebars and seat to a height that is comfortable for you. The keys are both attached to the handlebars. Two keys are included as standard and can be stored separately. To remove the battery, insert the key and turn it. Align the battery with the slot and insert it back in. Remember to lock it using the key. Finally, Power on the bike and check if it is receiving power. Long press the plus button to see if the front light turns on. At this end, the Jaguarundi assembly is complete. 